What's up, you YouTubers? It's Hoppy Hunter 89 coming at you from the Duelist Den. The voices in my head have been screaming at me lately. Now, in case you haven't figured out, this video is over the new Link Monsters, so let's get started. Feel tensions rising, I have voices in my head. They count to me, they understand, they talk to me. They talk to me. Okay, so here's what's going on, you YouTubers. For those of you who have been living under a rock the last couple of weeks, we have been leaked information about the new summoning mechanic for Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, I want to stress this very, very much. I want to stress this because nobody else has really uh, stressed it. Uh, this is leaked information. Konami has not commented or posted anything about it on the official site or on their YouTube channel or anything like that. This is leaked information. We have no confirmation that it's accurate. Okay, but the Yugi Tube community is blowing up with it, so I'm doing my video. <clears throat> now, the reason I waited a couple weeks to do my videos because I wanted to gauge the reactions of the rest of the Yugi Tube community through, uh, or the rest of the Yu Gi Oh community through YouTube channels, Reddit posts, things like that, uh, blogs, forums, everything. I wanted to gauge the reaction of the community. So, uh, first thing we're going to be going over is the new Link Monster. Now on the screen right here is an image of the new Link Monster. The first thing you'll notice is that it's, that it's blue, similar to Ritual Monsters. Uh, the next thing you'll notice is that it has no level or rank. Instead, it has a Link mon or Link number down where the defense would usually go on a monster card. Now why they put it down there, I don't know. They could have easily wrote Link 3 where the level goes or Link whatever number. I don't know why they did it that way, but it's the way the image was in the Link to be jump. So, I don't know. Anyway, uh, the next thing you'll notice is around the picture there are arrows or triangles, whatever the hell you want to call them. And these are important for the card and we'll get that, that here in a little bit. Now, with, these are extra deck monsters so they exist in your extra deck, uh, not the main deck. So it is a new extra deck type of monster. Now, with this new monster comes new rules and new, way to play, new ways to play the game. In addition to that, we have a new field layout. Now. Here is the picture of the new field. As you can see, the pendulum zones are now non-existent. If you want to activate a pendulum spell, you have to use spell zones 1 and 5. Furthermore, we have two additional zones up above the monster zones. Now, these are important, because the monster zones are now referred to as the main monster zones, and those two new spots are the extra monster zones. Now, the way extra monster zones work is they belong to neither player at the beginning of the duel and whichever player gets an extra deck monster into that extra monster zone first that extra monster zone becomes theirs for the remainder of the duel and the other player cannot use it so this is important because in order to get the best use out of this zone you have to have a link monster in this zone now here's the kicker extra deck monsters can now no longer exist in the main monster zones special summon straight from the extra deck if you special summon from the graveyard or something like Call of Haunted, that's a whole different story. But you cannot special summon them from the extra deck to a main monster zone. You have to bring them out in the extra monster zone. Now, in this picture, you're probably saying, well, there's an Xyz monster in the main monster zone right now. Here's where those arrows on the link monster come in. in order, like I said, in order to get the best use out of this extra monster zone, you must have a link monster in that monster zone. And any zone that those arrows point to is now linked with that link monster and can then have a monster special summon straight from the extra deck to that zone. Here's the kicker. Now I already went over the new spots for the pendulum zones. If you have a face-up pendulum monster in your extra deck, it is then considered an extra monster or an extra deck monster and can only be summoned from the extra deck to a zone linked with a link monster. Now if you have five pendulum monsters in your hand and you have your pendulum skill set, you can summon all five of them to the field from your hand. But if it is face up in the extra deck, it can only be summoned to a zone linked with a link monster. Now, furthermore, in regards to the pendulums, once you have a pendulum monster in your first or fifth pendulum zone, that zone then becomes the pendulum zone for the purpose of other card effects, the target pendulum zones, and things like that. 
but it also reduces the number of spell and traps you can use to three because you have to use two of those or those two end zones for your pendulum spells. Now, if you remove pen, if both your pendulum monsters are removed from those spell zones, you can use them for regular spells and traps again. But if there's a pendulum monster in it, you can't use another put a spell or a trap in that zone because it's already taken up. Now, this overall field layup I have a problem with because first of all, we just went through a new field layup uh, with the advent of the pendulum monsters when they were released uh, not too long ago. And now here in about six months, if this information is accurate, we're gonna get another change to the way the field is set up. So I already have issue with that. Furthermore, this is going to limit pendulum players as far as what they can do. Like take metal foes, for example, they rely on a bunch of heavy back row and this is really gonna cut them off. Uh, there's a couple of decks that rely on pendulums that I don't think this will affect very much. Uh, Ignites comes to mind as one of them. But still, the vast majority of pendulum players, this is going to cut off a lot. In addition to that, because you have to have link monsters in your deck in order to bring out extra deck monsters into the main zones, it's going to cut off a lot of people from using their extra deck. And I believe Konami did this to slow the game down. Now, here's my personal thoughts about this new link mechanic. It's shit. It's not good whatsoever. Granted, I'm sure there's going to be people out there who figure out how to fucking make it broken as all hell, like they do with every new Link mechanic. But I see no way how this is going to be good for the game, either now or in the future, because this is going to change the way the game is played forever. And ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Okay? So, it's just a whole big confluted mess. Now, you might be saying, I'm just jumping on the bandwagon, here because the vast majority of the Yu-Gi-Oh community hates this new mechanic. Now like I said, you might be saying I'm jumping on the bandwagon and it's probably something I do with every new mechanic that comes out. No, I'm sorry you're wrong. When Synchros were released, I defended them. I love Synchros, they're my favorite type of monster. When Xyz were released, I defended them. People said they were broken, I disagreed because it limits the number of times you can use an effect. For example, uh, in comparison to Stardust Dragon, which you can use every time somebody uses a destruction effect, um, we'll compare that to number 39, Utopia, which can stop your opponent from attacking. Utopia has a max use of two, because you have to detach two materials from it. Now, you could use card effects to attach more materials to it and things like that, but just base number of uses it has is two, where Stardust has multiple uses. So, in my opinion, I think... Xyz were actually a lot slower than Synchros, in my opinion. Yeah, you get them out just as easily, but they were actually a slower effect base. All right. Now, Pendulums, yeah, I didn't like the fact that Pendulums gave you the ability to mass summon the field every freaking turn, but I still defended them because there are ways around them. You disrupt your opponent's Pendulum scale with something like a quick MST, then their scales were ruined unless they were able to get another scale into that spot. And if you waited until the opportune moment, then their scales were fucked anyway. So, I defended Pendulums as well because getting around Pendulums wasn't all that freaking hard. So, I didn't think they were broken as all hell, like a lot of people did. Granted, they did not, none, of, none of the new mechanics were perfect. None of them ever are. But, I just didn't think Pendulums posed that big of a problem. However, Linked Monsters are completely redoing the way the game is played. Alright? My first issue, okay? In order to use your extra deck, now granted, you can still bring an extra deck monster out into the extra monster zone that it's not a link monster, but that limits the number of monsters you have at one, unless you can use card effects to switch monster zones. Alright, so that's a main issue because it's going to lock a lot of people out of their extra deck. And these days, you cannot run a deck without an extra deck, at least not effectively. I mean, yeah, you have those rogue decks, decks like Jackpot 7, Exodia, Chainburn, uh, then of course you have the Monarchs that don't really rely on extra decks. But still, 98% of decks in Yu-Gi-Oh rely on the extra deck these days. All right. Just for some examples, right now you got ABC Dragons, you got Blue Eyes, you got uh, Dark Magician, Metal Foes, uh, fucking there's the any Pendulum deck relies on the extra deck because you know the Pendulum monsters eventually get put into the extra deck. So this locks out pretty much everybody unless they can go and get the new Link monsters. 
Now this is, I don't like this fact because, you know, granted it does give, you know, a little more opportunity to perform tribute summons, which is something that's kind of faded off in the uh, recent years. But still, locking people out of their extra deck, this is not a good thing for Konami. This is something that they should have really put a lot more thought into if the leaked information is true anyway. They should have put a lot more thought in this because locking people out of the extra deck is not going to go over well with the community. They should have seen that coming. My second issue is, like I said, the link number is down where the defense goes. Now the ruling for this that we have so far that is confirmed is that because they have no defense, their own mechanic inherently prevents them from being put to, into defense position. So you cannot switch them from attack to defense. You can't even use something like Book of Moon to switch these things to defense. Because their own ruling for the mechanic states that these monsters are unable to be put into defense position. This is a huge problem, mainly because they are monsters, which means they can be attacked. Okay? Now this is probably thinking, Konami's thinking of balancing it out. No. No, 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 no. It makes them even more shitty. Alright? Because sometimes defense is the only thing that can save your ass in a duel. Alright? No duelist worth their salt is going to tell you otherwise. Alright? So having a monster you can't put to defense, but you can still reduce its attack and shit, is not a good thing. Because say your opponent gets something like uh, Red Nova Dragon on the field, just for example, and then they use something to reduce your, your monsters to attack to zero, well, all your other monsters are in defense, but your linked monster is in attack, and you have no way of getting it off the field, then you're fucked. Completely and utterly fucked. Alright? Now, moving on to the next issue here. The majority of the players in this game are casual players. You know, or high school kids, younger kids, kids who people don't have a lot of money to go and spend on these extra booster packs, but they still rely on their extra decks and their older cards to play. Well, if they can't go and get these new cards, because, you know, like I said, uh, middle and high school, or middle school, high school kids, they don't have money flowing in. They don't have jobs to go out and buy these cards. They rely on their parents or trading to get these cards. And so they won't be able to go out and get these cards. And they're going to quit the game because they can't play anymore. But just because of the new ruling, they literally can't play. At least with pendulums, you are required to have pendulum monsters in your deck to play. With link monsters in order to play, you are still required to have them in your extra deck in order to play your extra deck monsters effectively. So this is going to cause a lot of the casual community to get out of the game, in my opinion, and Konami is going to lose a lot of revenue. Now, granted, like I said, they don't have a lot of money to spend, but what little, but when they do get money, they usually spend it on the tins and the booster packs and things like that, because they don't have bills and shit to pay. You know, they're in school. You know, so they're going to be losing a lot of players just from that. All right. Furthermore. You have professional players like me, like, I'm a single dad working a minimum wage job. Grant, any extra spending money I have, I spend on Yu-Gi-Oh! But I can't afford, like I said, I'm like one of those play high school kids, I can't just go out and buy all these extra cars to make all my decks current again. So that's going to be a big issue for people like me as well. Now the next thing I want to talk about is that I believe Konami did this to slow the game down. That I agree with. This game needs to be slowed down. All right, it's gotten way too fast. A lot of people agree with that. At times, playing a duel isn't even fun because you're sitting there for 30 minutes while your opponent's doing stuff. You're falling asleep and you can't even keep up with them because it's just like, bam, bam, this, 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 this. Next thing you know, they've got five fucking Xyz monsters on the field. <laughs> And you have no idea how they did it. <coughs> but anyway, like I said, slowing the game down is a plus. I think that's a good idea and something that Konami needed to do. However, there were ways around this. Okay? Uh, there were other way things they could have done. Now, some of the things that I've seen that you know I don't think will work, but some of the things people have mentioned are summoning sickness mechanics. You know, like make a new rule saying that a monster cannot attack on the same turn that it's put into play. Uh, it's summoning sickness. So that would slow the game down a little bit, give your opponent a chance to respond. But you also have to think a lot of these cards have effects that can stop your opponent as well. 
So I don't think that would really be a good idea. Uh, another thing that I hear a lot is limiting the number of pendulum monsters you can bring out uh, in a single turn from your extra deck. And some people have said, you know, you can only bring out, you know, like two or three from your extra deck, which in my opinion is going to do nothing different than what the link monsters are doing. Uh, so I don't see how that would really be any different in my opinion. One thing I thought of was the during the end phase of each turn, pendulum monsters are auto destroyed as part of their mechanic. That way, on the on the part players next turn, they you know have to reset the scales from their hands. Um, one, also, another thing that I think would be good is you can only pendulum summon from your hand. You know, okay, eliminate the pendulum monsters being face up in the extra deck. And you can only pendulum them someone from your hand. Now that would cause another issue. Uh, main, now that's not 100% either because there are cards that require, target face up pendulum monsters in the extra deck. What I'm saying when pendulum monsters were released, if Konami had done that, instead of allowing them to be face up in the extra deck, only allowing you to pendulum summon monsters from your hand, you know that would be a completely different issue as far as pendulums are concerned because it wouldn't have made them as broken as they are. But anyway. I personally think though, and I haven't really seen anybody discuss this, so I think that the best way Konami could slow the game down and stop this freaking unbreakable bullshit is to take a page out of the Magic and or Magic the Gathering and Pokemon handbooks. And what I mean by this is in Magic the Gathering and Pokemon, for the standard official tournament play, you can only use cards there from the X number of recent packs. Like for Magic, I think it's like the three to like the three most recent sets are legal in the standard tournament plays. And it's the same with Pokemon. The with Yu-Gi-Oh though, you can use cards from any pack, from any generation, any era for official tournament play. Now I think this would solve all of the problems people have with game the game right now. Because it would do two things. First of all, uh, it would eliminate people using older cards, like uh, say One Days of Pieces or Regekis and Dark Holes, and like say the three most recent packs are the only ones you can use for official tournament play. Then the second thing it would do is it would make people make the people buy those newer packs to compete in tournaments, you know, locals, regionals. ARGs, YCSs, everything like that, you know, the big major tournaments. And Konami would still be getting the revenue from their new packs, which is what Konami wants. They want people buying their new packs, which is why they do all this stuff. That's why they have the ban list. That's why they release new mechanics and new types of monsters and things like that. They want people buying the new packs. Well, if you don't limit the cards from the X most recent packs to, or there are, if the, I got a little tongue tied there. If the only, car, only cards you can use in the first tournament player from the X most recent packs, well then people will be going out and buying those new packs and you still be getting the revenue from those packs. It would also allow the casual players to play with their older cards in the casual games against their friends. Because that's what happens in Magic and Pokemon. There, there's a traditional format, which is generally the casual format for people who don't participate in tournaments and things like that. So it would allow the older players to still be, have access to their extra deck without having to get the new cards that they can't afford or they can't or you know that they don't have money to buy or things like that which you know it would allow them to keep playing with their older cards in a more in a traditional format and it would still allow the tournament players to play with the newer cards the second th uh, second big thing that this would change is that it would eliminate the need for the ban list now just bear with me here Yugi tubers because I know some of you are saying, well, the banless predictions and banless discussion videos are a big thing for Yugi tubers. Yes, they are, but that's not the only thing that Yugi tuber videos are based around. So, like, so another, so uh, tongue tied again. I'm doing that a lot today. Anyway, like I said, the ban list, it would eliminate the need for the ban list. Now, as we can tell, like, as we already know, Konami's been having issues with the ban list. Because they don't want to take any. Because Konami doesn't want to take anything too broken off the ban list, but they also want to put new stuff on the ban list, and they don't want the ban list to be too large. So eliminating the need for the ban list will be a great thing for Konami as well, 
because they wouldn't have to worry about it anymore. All right, and it would get people's temper simmered down because a lot of people get pissed off when the ban list isn't out. Like I know right now, we should have a new fucking ban list up right now, and we don't fucking have one, and it's pissing me the fuck off. Anyway, <laughs> but it would eliminate always need to keep you up with the ban list and try to uh, nerf decks without making uh, another older deck super extremely powerful. I mean, like I said, if you can only use cards from the X most recent sets, then Konami can control what decks get the power and what decks are power creeped. Uh, in addition to that, it would also give the traditional players access to the cards they want to build for their decks that they currently can't run even in traditional because it's on a limited status. So anyway, those are my thoughts on the new Link Monsters and how Konami could have avoided them or changed, slowed the game up without actually nerfing the entire fucking game. Anyway, um, I would love to hear your thoughts about the new Link Monsters, how you feel Konami could have uh, slowed the game down without doing a complete overhaul on the game. Uh, leave your comments in the box below. Now, like usual in my discussions, I don't want comments like Link Monsters suck because they suck. I want intelligent reasons. I want to know why you think they suck. I want to know if you're going to run them, if you're not going to run them, if you're going to stay in the game, if you're not going to stay in the game. And while we're on that topic, I'm not going to get out of the game because of this new mechanic. I've been in this game for 14, 15 years now since it was first released in the States. Uh, I've devoted over half of my life to this game and I'm not gonna quit just because of a new way the game is being played I will adapt but anyway like I said I want to know what you think about these how you feel about them in the comment section below and as you and as always make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and get your friends on here watching these uh, I would love to hear input from uh, my followers and the people who watch my videos um, I also would like to get some new subscribers. I mean, come on, people. I'm doing all I can, but I could use your help. Spread the word about my channel. Until next time, this is Harpy Hunter 89 from the Duelist Den, signing off. Take a shot at me, run by side.